Hey friends, welcome back to another vlog. I am sharing a Christmas break grocery stock up haul, um, mostly stocking up on all the things as far as snacks and everything to get us through hopefully the next two weeks of Christmas vacation. You guys will have to let me know, are you stocking up for your Christmas break? Do you notice that you're gonna spend more during this time? We are on break until January 9th. I think January 9th is the day they go back to school. So we have two weeks ahead of us. So I needed to come prepared. If it is your first time clicking on today's video, thank you so much. My name is Amber. I am a mom of three boys, ages nine, six, and five. You will always see them. You always hear them. The cat's back there chasing them. This is my life. So thank you guys for checking out today's video. Check out some of my other videos. It's realistic. We have a lot of chaos always going on and I hope you find it relatable and you just like the sticker. I will say I'm in the middle of purging my pantry. I did not film it. I've been putting this off for like weeks. So I finally, come here, Samir. I finally sat here and went through everything. I have everything all taken out. I had so much expired stuff in there. It's really, really sad how much stuff. There was like stuff from like 2022 in there. We're going into 2024. A lot of stuff that we just do not eat. Sometimes the school would do like these pantry things where I didn't sign up for it. I don't even know why we were getting it, but it was just a lot of things. So I put together a bunch of stuff to donate to a food pantry. But up here, I got this all nice and organized. I'm planning to put all of like the chips and the snacks I don't want them to eat up here where they can't reach it. And then I just put extra pancake syrup. We can never have enough of that because we eat pancakes. Like every day the boys want pancakes. And then um, some Pedialyte stuff up there and extra hot chocolate. This right here, I just put all of my ramen noodles there and then extra cereal back there and then all of like the pasta and um, crackers, like regular crackers and then like the round ones. I put everything there. So right here, this is just peanut butter, just stuff that they can access right now. Peanut butter, jelly, syrup, all of that. And then down here, you can see I started, I just wiped the uh, shelves out, but I have all like the pop tarts in this one. I have that one over there to purge out. I have like granolas. I need to just go through and make sure that stuff's not expired because there was so many in there. Because my problem was I would always buy more of things because it'd be shoved all the way in the back of the pantry and I didn't realize I already had it. So it's making me waste money. It's making food go expired. So I got to go through and just double check dates on that. And then this is just the rest of the stuff that I need to reorganize and get back down there. I plan to keep my canned goods down here on this side, but over to the right before they were just like the whole thing. So I was just shoving stuff back there. So I plan to just put all the canned vegetables, things like that over to the right and like sauces. And then over to the left, I'm going to put like extra pantry stuff. So I let the boys pick out one snack that they would like, um, something that would be theirs only. I decided I told them they could do one thing. Uh, Lakin, he begged for some Fanta, so uh, he wanted just an individual bottle, but individual bottles like two bucks, so this was like four ninety eight, I think. So I got him a six pack, and I told him only one per day. You're not gonna sit here and drink all of it in one setting, okay? Uh, he's giving me that look over there. <laughs> one per day. That's all you're allowed. Uh, and then I got me some zero sugar root beer. They needed some more apple juices, so I just got two packs of these. Another case of water. This was on sale for $4.98. We're going through eggs like crazy. I think I have two cartons in there, but those are going to be gone within a week. So I got two more uh, dozens of eggs. I got this big old chuck roast. This is a beef chuck roast. It's huge. I think it was 17 bucks, but this thing is huge. So I'm going to make a pot roast one day. And then this is just a bunch of steak that I'm going to split up. It's it open yeah i like this for like steak tacos um beef and broccoli so i'm gonna actually split this up this is a pretty big package i'll put this in freezer freezer bags and divide it up and that'll be a couple different meals i got a couple different cheeses because i am going to be making a small christmas dinner so i'm going to make mac and cheese so i needed a couple more cheeses for it um i got mozzarella cheese that's not going to be for that that's going to be for like another dinner i always like to keep that on hand um some pepper jack and then Kobe Jack. I like to put that in my mac and cheese. I also needed to stock up on a ton of seasoning. I was running low. So I just got some more Mrs. Dash, the onion and herb. 
and then the garlic and herb. I've shared before I love putting the cilantro on like my salads and that. So I grabbed one of these. I think the other one I had was from Aldi before, but this was a little pricey, but it's a big jar. This will last me a long time since I only use it. Um, I might sprinkle on top of like tacos, but mostly I like to put it on salads and things like that. I got a can of beef gravy that's going to be for my pot roast. We needed some more whip toppy because they're drinking hot chocolate like crazy. I got some Creole seasoning. And then I grabbed, I didn't realize this was a big can, so this will last me. Some Slap Your Mama. Needed some more caramel sauce. I got two things of crescent rolls. And then some cream cheese. That was a two-pack. And then pepper and onion blend. And I have a feeling, this strong feeling, you guys, that I already have this in my freezer. Like something's telling me that I do, but I feel like I don't, but I feel like I do. <laughs> if that, that, say that like three times fast. That's why it's important to shop at your house, shop your fridge, shop your pantry before. As I'm over here lecturing myself for going through my pantry and I'm doing the same thing with the freezer. Uh, and then I got these Purdue grilled chicken slices, chicken strips. So I got these for salads and then I'm going to be making me some wraps. I got two packs of that. Uh, this was, Lakin asked for these, so I did let him get some vanilla bars. He loves those. Is it only for me? Only for him, apparently. He's anxious to open it. Uh, I got me some more stevia leaf for coffee. I got this zero sugar, sh sugar, <laughs> zero sugar chocolate cream. I heard that this kind of tastes like hot cocoa and I already have, I think it's the vanilla caramel one. I really do like it. So I wanted to try uh, this one. I feel like I'm going through the liquid creamer so fast. So I said, I'm going to go to this because it's, I don't, you know, creamer is not cheap and I feel like I just go through it way too fast. It barely lasts me a week for a jug, jug, a bottle. I got the savory pot roast seasoning. I'm gonna be making some greens for Christmas. I already have a ham, so I just got some turnip bobs and then I got mustard greens, mustard greens and some turnip greens. Two cans of evaporated milk. And then I got some kind bars. I absolutely love these. I haven't bought these in a long time just because they can be kind of pricey uh, depending on where you get them at but this is the dark chocolate cocoa ones and i really love the peanut butter ones these are so good and you get 12 um two six packs of, of so i think you get 12 bars and they are they come two in a pack these were something new i wanted to try chocolate mint so i'll see i mean they have like almost a five star rating i love um mint so hopefully i like it I got two boxes of some mac and cheese, some whole dill pickles. I got some avocados because I'm going to be making these uh, chicken avocado wraps. Look at this. I don't know why this, this is the only con of having someone shop your groceries. This was a Walmart delivery order, by the way. But yeah, that's how it came. So I'm interested to see how the rest look. I'm actually going to probably request a refund on that. What you do? Yeah. Uh, then all of the snacks. So Samir wanted uh, Cheez Its. So I got this variety. This should. These are really really good. These snapped ones. These are fire. But I got this big old box of twenty of them. And then I did stock up on chips. I just did two boxes. I actually had a coupon where I think I got two fifty off if I bought two, and they are on sale for nine ninety eight. So I got two of those. Some more fruit snacks for them. Tank, he requested goldfish, so that's what I got him. Lakin wanted some Slim Jims. I got a couple things of honey cornbread for a Christmas dinner. And then I did get two boxes of the Munchies peanut butter crackers. They really love these as snacks. So this is what those Power Crunch bars look like. The boys um, already requested a snack. I already opened that. Samir wanted an ice cream sandwich. So I'm actually going to try this and see how this tastes. You only get four in the box. I don't know if this is... This feels like one big old protein bar. Oh my god. This tastes like a thin map. These are good. It's like a... It's like a wafer. Shut up there. Yeah, it's like a wafer. I'm definitely buying these again. 
fire. These are so good. I actually did not expect it to taste this good. 10 on 10, recommend these Power Crunch bars. The mint chocolate chip, chef's kiss. So I like to start off and get all of my eggs in this egg container. All of my clear acrylic containers I purchased at like Marshall's TJ Maxx. 10 out of 10 recommend that's where you purchase them from because these containers can get pretty pricey if you try to buy them on Amazon or like from somewhere else. Go to your local Marshall's TJ Maxx and get these. I never purchased all of these at the same time. Whenever I was at the store randomly, I would get one here or there. Uh, these big containers as well, I got these as Marshalls. So these work really good to keep uh, like the bags of chips. Sometimes I put granola bars in them, uh, Pop-Tarts, things like that. But I'm setting up one specifically. I'm filling one box of chips into this bin and I'm going to put the other box up. And then I have another bin that I'm going to put some other items in. Now I know um, an organized, aesthetically pleasing pantry is not for everybody. Some people have that mindset of just shoving everything into the pantry. When I think like that, I end up with expired food, overcrowding of things. I buy multiples of things. When I'm able to visually see what I have and be able to access it very easy, it helps me prevent that. Hence having all of those expired products on the floor. That's for me just shoving boxes in. It's easier to just break everything down and I feel like I can fit so much more in my pantry as well. I don't have a huge pantry. I just have that one individual side that has like what, four shelves. So I need to make use of the space that I do have and putting everything out of the boxes and into bins just makes that much easier. I like to keep all of my granolas and cereal bars all in one bin, just so they're all in one place. So I have all of my kind bars, I keep the granola bars. I don't have any cereal bars right now, but typically if I do, they would go in the same bin as well. The boys love cereal bars. They don't really care for granola. I think it's just like the oatmeal texture. So pretty much this whole bin is my snack bin right now. Uh, but whenever I do get uh, more cereal bars, this is where I would put them. Doesn't it just look so good? It just looks so put together. I can visually see everything and it makes it easier for the kids. If they ever wanna get a snack, they can see and they have choices. I have to keep some snacks kind of out of their reach though, because you guys know how kids are. They will go at snacks all day. They would choose snacks over dinner if I allow them to. So I only put down things I know that they're not gonna grab tons of. Like the crackers, I'm fine if they eat crackers. The fruit snacks, I'm okay with it, but they don't overeat those. Now the chips, that's a different story. That's why I keep that bin all the way at the top. So this is what the top's looking like. I got all the chips and the cheese that's up there. I added the mac and cheese up into there. That looks good. I add the popcorn I put there. This is what this row looks like with the containers. So I just have my granola, my um, croutons, and other salad topping mix right there. And then this all fit perfectly. I just stacked that on top. And then now I'm going to go ahead and finish lining up all of the canned goods and the rest of the extra stuff I'll keep down here to the back. This was just already starting to look so much better. I didn't have a million canned goods of things that we don't eat. And I love being able to access and have extra space here at the bottom. These pantry shelves are pretty deep and uh, height wise, they're pretty tall. So there's enough room for me to stack things if need be. If I wanted to get more use out of this bottom shelf i could easily stack more i just don't want to overstack cans you know so if they fall 
uh, but it looks so much better having all of the cans on one side and kind of the extra box pantry things to the left and then having more space to add in like cakes, cake mixes and other additional things like these pretzels that I had. That's all complete. I got everything lined up. We don't eat a lot of canned vegetables. The only canned vegetable I really buy is corn um, because I buy frozen carrots, frozen peas. I do buy green beans occasionally, but the boys don't really eat them, so I kind of stopped. But that's why you don't see a lot of canned food if you're wondering like, oh, you don't have a lot of canned vegetables. That's because I'd prefer to buy them fresh or frozen. So I have all of the little canned goods I have and I still have room to just add in extra stuff if needed, you know, if I ever overstock, but it looks way better to, than it did. There was just stuff everywhere before. This looks really good. I'm glad I finally tackled it. So that's my organized pantry after grocery shopping. Just